Oh. Now, if there was a guaranteed formula, you'd do it every time and it would be successful. So there's still that element mm -hmm. of chance and timing mm -hmm. and support from an unexpected source. Absolutely. And that's the story that I'm going to ask you about now because after a decade off the <coughs> charts, you began an unusual, unlikely comeback in the mid-70s. Mm -hmm. I guess it started with the partnership with Phil Cody. Yes. But it was, uh, it was amplified by someone who wanted to pay back. And what I mean by that is w one of the things that thrills me about Bruce Springsteen is that uh, he took Gary U.S. Bonds under his wing and wrote songs for him and, and took him out of, uh, uh, what do you call those, uh, Holiday Inn lounges mm -hmm. and put him back in the mainstream. Uh, Tom Petty did mm -hmm. the same for uh, the late Del Shannon mm -hmm. for a while. Mm -hmm. And the biggest superstar of the 70s did it for you. Could you tell that story? Elton John was a, a fan of my early records. I had moved to England with the kids and Leba, because that was the only work I could get. They had great respect for the, uh, the old American rock and rollers. And um, I met Elton at a Bee Gees concert in England, and he said, I heard your recording new songs with the 10 CCs, who uh, was a great group. And I said, yes. He said, can I come over your apartment in London and hear some of them? I said, of course. And I'll never forget my son, Mark, was about eight years old. He had pictures of Elton all over his wall, and I didn't tell him. And when the doorbell rang, I said, Mark, why don't you go to the front door? <laughs> and there was Elton John. <laughs> and this 10-year-old kid almost peed in his pants. <laughs> and we sat, and he listened to the new songs, and he said, you know, I could make you a star again in America. I said, what? He said, these are very good songs. Let me think about this. We had a party, and him and his uh, manager, John Reed, came, and um, I, I played some things, and he said, I'm starting a record company, Rocket Records, in America. Uh, I'd like you to be the first artist, and I'd like, I'd like it to be called Sadak is Back. And uh, half of the album was things I did in England with the 10 CCs, and half was with James Taylor's rhythm section in L.A. And Laughter in the Rain was the first single off the album. And another number one song for <coughs> Neil Sedaka. So some of the questions...